All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to our disastrously losing run of Renowned Explorers the Emperor Challenge, Emperor's Challenge. But it's not all bad because we have seen a great deal of new content in this run already, and I'm really excited about it. Most, uh, most definitely for the secret shop, which is incredible, and then for an entourage in here that I want, the Master Anthropologist. Uh, now, I did mention at the end of last episode that we would be doing our Indonesia content soon. It will not be this episode because Indonesia is a four-star challenge. I thought it was a three-star. It's a four-star. So, we get to go wherever we want. Um, that's three-star, at least, because we told the Emperor we wouldn't go to a two-star challenge. So, we can go to the Memphis Desert or the Highlands or the Andean Adventure. We are an aggressive crew. Hmm... Thinking, thinking, thinking. Athlete, survivalist. We only have the athlete. Islands is good for a friendly crew. We do have the big gather and the engineer, though. Um, or the Andean Adventure. Again, I typically try to do uh, Devious for the Andean Adventure, but you know what? Uh, maybe we should do. Uh, maybe we should try an aggressive run there. We don't have a diplomat. We have a beguiler. Uh, so that might be awkward. We do have the engineer. You know what? Let's try it. Why not? This run is already sort of a disaster in terms of points. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, attempt to do something a little different. And as long as we make it through this, then we will do the Indonesia adventure, and then we will lose to Ravelo with grace. Uh, we made it to the mysterious Andes range. Okay, so far so good. Let's go. Group of warriors finds us. All right, they're going to attack. Blah, blah, blah. Let's stab them, shoot them, and hit them with a broom. Good. They are aggressive, actually, to start out. Interesting. Okay. Um, that's fine with me. I don't mind at all. We're just going to uh, peg him with a bullet from a blunderbuss there. Or possibly several bullets, depending on what, what kind of rounds he's using. If it's like a grape shot, then it's uh, going to be several bullets. Wow, doesn't do much to that uh, guy, does he? Or does she? Uh, Alright, I guess we'll just uh, kick him in the face then. Why not? There we go. And we'll bring Hojo over. And see how he does. He can't take out either of them. I don't think. Nope. So, uh, yeah. We'll just hit him with a broom. There we go. See what the reaction here is. They're going to stay aggressive. All right. Not too bad. Can't complain. That damage is not enough to take her down. Not quite. And we should be able to finish them off this turn. We'll bring Errol over to shoot one of them. He has so much attack power from that engineer perk that we took at the campfire last time that he can probably one-shot almost anybody. Not quite anybody, but I, I'm willing to bet it's pretty close. Actually, you know what? Will assassinate do any better? Yeah, we'll. We'll assassinate him. There you go. We promised we were going to stab him a little bit, and there we go. There's the stabbing. And hit him with a broom. This guy's had a rough day. Yo, we didn't get Mr. and Mrs. Friendly. We did not get Mood Switcher. But that's alright. At this point, I am trying to survive to get to Indonesia. I don't think we have any chance of winning. Um... Which is new, but... New for us, but hey. Alright. The Emperor. How do we feel about the Emperor? Are we just here for the treasure? Does he sound ruthless and oppressive? Or is it a misunderstanding? Definitely not a misunderstanding. It's one of these two, but I think I'm here for the treasure. I agree. Errol is a greedy person. And he wants all of the treasure he can get. Alright. Several combat encounters and an empty node. I did promise someone in the comments, and uh, I forgot already uh, my last two recording sessions, but this recording session I'm going to try to remember. I should always check to make sure there isn't a way that takes zero supplies, because if there is, I might as well go there. It's free. And I'm really bad at remembering to do that. Uh, so I should try to pay more attention. Alright, do we want to try to avoid these guys? Oh, I remember this. There is a person you can meet who will tell you uh, what the key is to get past his control. Uh, sorry. 
he will tell you what the key is to get past this patrol. And I believe it changes every time. Uh, and we haven't met him, so this is just a guess. So I'm just going to guess the first one. He spots us. All right, we enter an encounter. Let's go. Excuse me, I'll take a little bit of a drink here. All right. And we've got three guys over there and just one guy in our face. We'll take care of him right away. And then, do either of these people have a confident booster? No. Impress and excite. That's unfortunate. I was hoping to be able to boost Errol's attack for next turn. But... That would require a confident move, and neither Hojo nor Phelan have one of those. So instead, we'll just wait as these guys approach. And we're going to come up here and see if our AoE on... Nope, it is not. <laughs> that is, well, so much for that. So instead, we're just going to shoot some more people. I would love to be able to boost that attack later on in the game, if we can. I cannot recall if Errol has a fourth level up that boosts the effectiveness of his AoE. But I can check. Let me hit this guy with a room first. And then we'll take a look. Uh, or maybe we can't. Uh, we can't take a look in combat. So we will wait. We'll wait till the end of combat and then I'll look. Because I'm very curious. Again, I'm ignoring the quests now. We have lost this game. It's fine. I want to see the new content, though. And I want to get more used to using Hojo. So we're just going to do our best to make it through using whatever tactics we have to while staying aggressive. Because that was my promise. While staying aggressive. Um, but not worrying too much about the quests. If we see a good opportunity to do one, we'll certainly do it. But I'm not going to go out of my way and risk losing or to do it at this point, because I think we've pretty much guaranteed, we're pretty much guaranteed the loss. <laughs> Doesn't happen to me very often, but that's okay. Not that I don't lose. I lose. Like, that's that's okay. I do lose. Um, but what I'm not used to is being guaranteed, practically guaranteed a loss, a loss very early in a run. I'm uh, used to being ahead for most of the run, and then dying to something unrelated at the very end. Um, so this is a new experience for me. That's all right. Here we go. And let's go down here and grab some study. All right. Something odd. Let's go take a look. Ah, a dark and troubled place. Local guards are everywhere. The streets are teeming with bones of the dead. Okay. Every day we were... Oh, I, I remember this. Okay. Every day we were attacked by hordes of skeletons. That sorry excuse for an emperor refuses to help us. We want to help. Yes, we do. A vile necromancer is terrorized in the city. Okay, let's go check it out. Our temple of death is well hidden. Uh, I'll mark it for her. Don't be friendly. We're not going to be friendly. We're going to attack her. That is how we roll. Uh, visit a local shop? Sure, let's take a look. Um, no. We do not want supplies for resolve. We will leave. Let's go find this necromancer. Let's go find this necromancer again. Oh, a hidden horde. Nice. We will take the discovery. Why not? Here we are. Okay. The necromancer lives inside this temple. It's going to be very dangerous. Let's go. Hojo bravely steps forward because he is a brave person. Uh, Hojo makes a wrong move and <laughs> finds dozens of traps. <laughs> All right. Errol is an excellent engineer and will boldly disable those traps. No problem. The corridor goes on for a little while. At the end, a massive door stands before you with a chilling wind slipping through beneath it. Let's go. The place is dark and filled with quasi-animated skeletons. It seems they're guarding an emerald skull in the middle of the room. You thought you would be facing the necromancer, but maybe this is the source of the undead. Let's take a closer look. It's clear that you need to steal the Emerald Skull. That sounds about right. Um, but we don't have anyone very good at stealing. Let's try to use a tool. Because of a 50% chance. Very nice. Good job, Errol. Or Earl. Whichever. 
We got the Emerald Skull, the skeletons collapse, we have done it. But the Emerald Skull starts glowing. It flies out of Errol's hand and starts to transform. In the rumble, you hear a voice. What's this? Death to those who oppose the goddess. Why, a cute little girl appears out of nowhere. Are you lost? Shut your mouth. <laughs> I'm not a kid. I am the godly princess necromancer. Respect me as your superior. Bow down to your princess and give me candy. Uh, we have two crew members who are very brave. Uh, yeah. You're not a child. You're a demon. Yes, I am. Fear the almighty necromancer princess. You shall bow to my will. Let's put her down. We don't have to worry about being friendly. That's not how we do things. We are going to, again, shoot, stab, and hit her with a broom. That is our way of solving our problems. And an excellent way of solving them, it is. Nice job Just to start with for Errol. Takes out all three skeletons in one shot. And then we will head down here and take out these two skeletons, which will just leave the Necromancer Princess, as she calls herself. And one of her friends... Oh, the little blue skeleton over there. Oh, actually, no, never mind. There's some other guys over on the side as well. I didn't realize that. There's another blue guy, and it looked like another regular skeleton as well. Weak to enraged and impressed. Okay. Yeah, quite a few more, actually. Um, I will check next turn and see if the Necromancer has any unusual buffs or attributes. A poor Feilin's gonna go down. Yep, there's that. Okay, Necromancer. Don't treat her friendly. We're not going to. That's fine. Okay. Bring Errol down. Ooh. Hmm. I was hoping that would do a little bit more damage, honestly. But we'll do it anyway. Might as well get a start. What are you weak to? Enraged and impressed. Okay, I don't have either of those on Hojo. I could treat him friendly and nearly take him out because he is weak to impressed. Might not be a bad idea. She is immune to that, of course. Yeah, okay. We'll try to take this guy out. Not quite. Yeah, there is a lot of mobs in this combat. Um, I'm probably in trouble. Okay, good. Hojo tanked that pretty well. Wow, look at that AoE. Oh, okay, it makes everyone confident. All right, that's fine. Could be worse. And we will end this skeleton's life. Very good. And we're gonna move Hojo up here and res Feilin. And try to heal Hojo up a little bit if we can. Um, yep, and we'll use Dance because I want, well, maybe not. I was going to say, I'm going to use Dance because it gives Feilin reduced aggro. I think I am. I'm going to use Dance because I don't want Feilin to get attacked. She doesn't have much defense, and I'd rather them attack Errol or Hojo, I think. Although, with this many attackers, uh, they may not survive even then. Yeah, Hoju can take that pretty well. I think that was the right choice. Try to get him to attack him. And I will try to heal him up every turn. And hopefully that will be sufficient. Oh, nope. She's going straight for Phelan. Why? Leave Phelan alone. Uh, so annoying. Okay, one more turn. I have my AoE back and I can take out most of these guys very simply. Uh, if I lose Phelan again, I will die. But uh, if I don't res her, then Hojo probably dies because he won't have anyone to heal him. This is a problem. All I can do is kind of hope that they go after Errol maybe um, and try to take out some of these guys so that Hojo doesn't take too many attacks. There we go. All right. Okay, good. He's going after Errol. I prefer that it's not... Okay. A little bit over half left. And uh, hopefully this doesn't kill him. And it did. So that is the end. That is the end of our run. 
that's okay. It wasn't going very well anyway. Um, but we did get to see a lot of the new content, and we will be prepared next time for what we need to do to get those. Gold for the extra trinket shop, and if you do the engineering tree. And a lot of status for those really, really excellent entourages in the new shop. The new entourage shop. All right. Well, uh, too bad it was a loss, but that's okay. We got to see a lot of uh, new stuff. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it regardless. Please leave a like on the video if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more content in the future. Hopefully more successful content, but content nonetheless. And, uh, yeah, once again, just, just thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you next time.